Hey everyone, this lesson is on pitarizes erosion. In this lesson, we're going to talk about what this condition is, what is the clinical presentation, how do we diagnose it, and how do we treat it. So pitarizes erosion is an acute self-limited macular inflammatory skin disease. And the etiology of pitarizes erosion is not entirely known. It is likely of a viral origin, and it's believed to be related to an infection with human herpes virus 6, 7, or 8. Now, this condition sometimes has a prodrome, and what that means is that it sometimes has systemic symptoms before its presentation or onset. Some of these uh, can include headache, malaise, and pharyngitis. In this condition itself, uh, we see the rash, but it also is puritic, but otherwise asymptomatic. In most cases of pitarizes erosia will resolve on their own within four to six weeks, but it can last for months. So again, it's acute and it's self-limited generally. Skin lesions in pitarizes erosia are macules and small patches. Macules are flat skin lesions that are less than one centimeter in size, and small patches are flat skin lesions that are generally one centimeter or greater in size. And they have a particular distribution in pitarizes erosia. They are generally located on the trunk, and they have what we call a Christmas tree-like pattern of distribution. So you might not be able to see a Christmas tree in this image here, but if you can think about it, you can see how these uh, lesions actually uh, radiate downward like so. So there is a, if you really kind of look at it, you may see this type of pattern here, what we call a Christmas tree-like pattern. And this general presentation on the trunk is actually preceded by a large herald patch, and that's a key word. So herald patch is a larger lesion around two to five centimeters in diameter that actually can be the beginning of this condition. You'll see one patch somewhere on the trunk that's a larger patch, about two to five centimeters in diameter, called the herald patch. And then from there, macules and small patches will actually radiate outward from there. So that's the preceding herald patch. So it may look like this on presentation. So how do we actually make the diagnosis of pitarizes erosia? Well, the diagnosis of pitarizes erosia is a clinical one. So we see that the patient had a herald patch or by history they mentioned something that sounds like a herald patch with the uh, rash kind of emanating from that area and we see maybe it's all on the trunk and it's maybe in a Christmas tree like distribution. That's how we can make it, uh, make the diagnosis clinically. You may also want to do a KOH prep, um, so take some skin scrapings uh, do a KOH prep on them just to rule out any other tinea infections or other fungal infections. But otherwise, this is a clinical diagnosis. So how do we treat it? Well, we mentioned that this is an acute self-limited condition. So a lot of times we generally let it be. So we're very, uh, we just use supportive treatment for this one. It, it will generally resolve within four to six weeks. And we can give topical corticosteroids through the puritis, and generally the puritis or the itchiness is the most troublesome symptom for patients. So we can give them some topical steroids to actually relieve the itchiness. So if you want to learn more about other dermatology conditions, please check out my dermatology playlist. And if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing for more lessons like this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.